and welcome to a weekly vlog. I am the only Ayolsa and that's what's happening today. I look a mess because I woke up so late today. So it is the afternoon already. It is 4.30 p.m. I've had a day, but in that day, I started very late. I started at 10 a.m. <laughs> I was exhausted this weekend. I mean, last week I got my wisdom teeth out and it completely threw me off my routine. My routine was out the window. I couldn't work out because obviously I had like an open wound in my mouth. So I couldn't work out. I was eating different. Like I, I ate probably way more carbs than normal. So this week we are getting back on track, trying to, you know, fix our sleep schedule definitely because I mean, 10 a.m. is just unacceptable for me. I was doing 5 a.m. consistently before and uh, I just, I wanna get back to at least like an 8 a.m., 7 a.m. kind of routine. 10 is just too much. Anyways, I got a haircut yesterday too, so I'm still figuring out how to like keep it um, up, but I am gonna be styling, straightening it today. Later, like I said, this day just like got away from me, so I had to do a lot of chores in the house, a lot of cleaning, but we are rolling, we are kicking it, we are in high gear <laughs> with work and living. Uh, I feel like we're finally like in a rhythm of like, you know, living on our own and having our own space. And it actually comes at like such a perfect time because at the end of this month, we are going on a trip to Santa Barbara for a friend's wedding. And then next month, May. We're going to EDC Las Vegas. I am so freaking excited. I can't believe that this is finally happening. We've had tickets since 2019 and I am super duper stoked, but we are prepping for that now. We are in full like prep mode too. So I've planned the trips. We're ready, but now I'm just planning like outfits and things for, especially for EDC. I got my wedding dress, so we're good on that. We're good for Santa Barbara, but EDC takes a lot of planning. If you've ever been to a festival, you know <laughs> it's a lot of planning, a lot of organizing, especially if you like want to go out all out with your like outfits, which I personally do. And since I'm not going to a lot of festivals this year, I was just like, all right, we're gonna go full out for EDC. It's the biggest festival. And I, I really want to like be able to express myself. So that's what we're doing. So we got a bunch of packages in the mail today. This is one of my rave outfits. It's from an Etsy shop called The Light culture this is lunatics i'll share what that is and then this is just like t-shirts i just got a new job like part-time to just get some extra money because i live in the bay area and it's expensive so i got some new t-shirts to make my job more fun <laughs> and i'll share what those are you'll probably know what i'm working in based on what it is i'll just tell you i'm gonna be working at a dispensary <laughs> i i love i love weed and <laughs> I think that, you know, cannabis is really, has helped a lot of people and there's like such a stigma behind it. Like even my own parents are kind of like coming around to like it not being so taboo. I mean, it's legal here in California, so duh, it's not taboo. Sorry, there's like a glare from my glasses and it's very annoying. Sorry about that. But anyways, I really want to share with you guys like what we got. So I'll probably open those up right now because I have time. Because I'm taking a little break from my busy, busy day. I was literally looking at my planner like, oh, we're doing a weekly vlog this week. So we're starting that. We're doing it now. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> so the first package, like I said, is from Cabin 7 Originals. They're an Instagram shop. Uh, well, I found them on Instagram. This girl draws these like beautiful, it's mostly like smoking pictures. She's, a, she's an artist. She draws art, but most of her art is like based around like smoking kind of. The marijuana, you know? So... Oh my god, they're even cuter than I thought they would be. Oh my god, oh my god! Okay, wait, okay. Most of her art has to do with like weed and like, you know, people smoking or whatever. <laughs> so I got these. Oh, <laughs> look at that. It's the land before time, but it's the land without time. And they got a little bong and a little joint. Oh, their eyes are red. Oh my god, this is adorable. And it's like tie-dye. So cute. Okay, the next one that I got, I've wanted this one for, I don't even, like a year. Like I saw it like a year ago and yeah, it's it's adorable. Look at this. 
burn blunts. I am obsessed with Mean Girls. I'm a Mean Girls girl. Like that was literally my, just me and my best friend quoting Mean Girls all day, every day to each other. So now that like I smoke, I thought that this was super appropriate. Burn blunt, it's like the burn book. And then the last one that I got, I'm a Disney girl. So I thought this one was super cute. Best buds, isn't that amazing? I got them a little oversized because, I don't know, t-shirts lately. Like I have one like Rick and Morty t-shirt that I love wearing with like booty shorts or whatever. And like that's been my vibe lately. So that's kind of what I, I'm leaning towards. Next, I'll open the Lunatics next. Lunatics, I ordered from them like a million times. When I used to, ah! I used to go to festivals pretty consistently. Like I went to like three or four a year before the panini. I ordered from them all the time or like ordered their stuff from like other brands all the time. This is for one outfit. They're just very, they're stars and they're shiny. And then this, this I thought this was super cool. It's like holographic stickers. So you can put some like on your like wing kind of vibe or like there's a little mushroom. So the outfit that I'm about to show you, one outfit has come in. It has little mushrooms on it, like holographic mushroom, mushrooms. And I was like, yes. And then the other things, like I'll use them for outfit too. Let's see, let's see, moment of truth. You're right where you are supposed to be. Oh, inspirational sticker. Oh, and then wrote me a little note. Aw, thank you so much for supporting. Ah, the light culture, light culture, right? Sorry, light culture. Yes, yes, yes. On Etsy, that's where I got this. I'll show you now. Maybe I'll leave a link to them below. So this is the like print. It's, it doesn't look, oh, oh, it's like different colors in the camera. In the camera, you can actually see like all the different colors. So it's like holographic when you shine a light on it. Let me see if I can do that. No, it looks different with my camera or like with in person. <laughs> in person, it's definitely like holographic. I don't know if you can tell, um, but yeah, that's what it is. That's the, that's the fabric and I got bottoms. And then this top, it's just a strappy. Bam! That's what it looks like. Oh, it, it's pretty good coverage. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, yay. I'm not gonna show it all out and put together because I wanna save that for ADC. You guys will see. I'm vlogging the whole thing. I'm like so excited. The last time I went to a festival was Beyond at the Gorge. There's vlogs of that. Go check them out. But. I had so much fun vlogging that, that now I'm like way more comfortable in front of the camera and like just like talking whenever I want. So I'm really excited to vlog that whole experience. It's EDC, like I had, that was my very first festival I ever went to in 2015 and it like kickstarted me going to like EDM shows and festivals and things. And like, that's a few years later is when I like really fell in love with it because just like, you know, like, I don't know, like I love the community and the good vibes and please spread plur. If you're like going to a festival for the first time, please just remember to be kind to others, be kind to yourself, treat yourself with respect and like check your tolerance and hydrate your health and the health of others. Take care of each other. Take care of each other. That is what Plur is supposed to be about. Anyways, that was super fun. I might go try on this outfit and then catch up with you guys later when we're probably making dinner because we are making something a little bit fun for dinner today. I'm back to tracking my macros. I was not tracking them for a while, I'm not gonna lie. Back to tracking my macros. <laughs> back to working out. I worked out this morning. It was great. Super tired, but it felt so good to like get back into it. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later. Welcome to Monday. Hello, I have to vlog right now. It is later. <laughs> I'm gonna lose the light in this house because the power went out. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing my new shirt. It looks cute. But yeah, the power went out because it's super windy outside and that's super fun. We don't know when we're getting it, we're getting it back probably. I think it'll be back around 9 p.m. But anyways, our dinner plans changed. So now instead we made like a little chicken salad. I toasted some bread over at my parents' house because they have a gas stove so they still can heat things. Some avocado, some lettuce. You ready? Are you excited to sit in the dark together? <laughs> we'll see. See how long the few technologies that we have will last. Like my phone. Although I do have the portable charger, so I should be okay. Um, but yeah, very limited internet and uh, very tiny screens. So it was actually really scary when it went out because I, you know how like when like the power goes out, I feel like it's really loud. Cause like all of the like power things like all have a sound when they're on or when they're plugged in. So everything has like a buzz or like a like a humming sound kinda. And then all of a sudden there was like a pop outside and then it got like super quiet in here and it was a little scary. <laughs> but it was okay. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. 
Maybe I'll share more about our experience, but I feel like it's going to be pretty boring. So I'll see you guys later. This is the setup. Not criminal minds on the tiny screen. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Surviving. <laughs> Good morning. It is now Tuesday, Tuesday, April 12th. I am just about to get ready to do my workout. I am doing right now 645, which is a strength building workout program for weight loss. And I've honestly seen such an improvement in like how I'm losing weight and because it's not really weight, it's inches. I've lost seven inches off my body since I started this program, which was about four, five weeks ago, technically, but I took a week off because was in tooth removal. <laughs> so I am starting week five right now, or yesterday, and it kicked my booty, it did. Um, but it felt really good and I'm feeling sore but ready to do my next workout today. I already had my pre-workout. Oh, right, I was gonna update about last night. Last night we got power around 11 p.m. So it wasn't too late. They told us that we were gonna get power back from 12 to two. And what happened was that a branch fell on a line because it was so windy yesterday. So a branch fell on the line and disrupted you know, the power. So they had to come bring somebody to remove the branch because it was apparently like a really big branch. And then the PG&E people came to like restore power. So yeah, that happened around 11 p.m. It was a little late, so I didn't have time to like tidy up the house. I just washed the dishes and then pretty much went to bed. But this morning I tidied up a little, had my pre-workout, journaled, you know, it had the whole morning routine. Y'all have seen the videos. If you're here, you should. <laughs> oh, and Christian cut my hair a little bit like, more. Just like really quick because I just really wanted to straighten my hair yesterday. And I was supposed to do it after five, you know, after Christian got back and we were going to have dinner and then I was going to do like a whole little like get ready because like I wanted to do like a face mask and hair and all this stuff, but I didn't have time to do it. So I just like quickly straightened my hair before bed just so that I felt a little bit more put together. But when I straightened it, I cut my own hair. Okay. And when I cut it, I don't always cut it well. <laughs> And the last time that I cut it, it was trash. It was atrocious. So I had to have him help even it out. So now it's like a little bob again. I love it. I love the little bob look. Honestly, glad to be back. I'm obsessed. I really, I didn't think, I always thought that like I wouldn't like short hair because I've had short hair pretty much since like my junior year of high school. I feel like I've like just kept cutting it. It's been like long at certain points, but for the most part, I've kept my hair pretty short since since high school and um, I'm always like complaining. I'm like, I want longer hair or whatever, but I'm impatient and I don't like to grow it out. And plus, since I cut my own hair, sometimes I do it terribly. And like I said, Christian has to like even it out and go in there. So it ends up being shorter, but it's okay. I made a promise to him now since yesterday that I wouldn't touch it anymore. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna stop cutting my own hair. And I mean, I'm trying to save up to dye it again. I wanna go back to silver hair. I used to have silver hair and I wanna do that again. Uh, so I'm gonna save up for that and then, you know, get it trimmed then. But I really want it to be longer for that. So we're growing it out. Anyways, <laughs> back to our regularly scheduled programming. I'm getting started with my Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. And uh, I will see you all after my workout. <laughs> I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Hello, it has been a while I have been working, I posted a new video today um, I think it was my Sunday reset. Re yes, it was definitely my Sunday reset routine. So if you wonder how I prep the house for the week, just go check that out. I also make some pretty cool muffins in that one. So if you want to check those out, I should have linked the recipe. I'm so, I'm getting the hang of this YouTube thing, okay? So I'm going to try to start linking stuff that I talk about. <laughs> Keep me in check. If you want to know what I did somewhere um, you're curious, let me know and I will try to get those links for you. Anyways, I was working for a bit and then I started prepping my smoothies because I usually have a lot of veggies and fruits in them. So I wanted to share my smoothie drawer. I have these two candles in here because they're freezing so that I can take the wax out because uh, they're they're done. <laughs> and then the rest of this is just the ice drawer and the smoothie things. So I have, I cut up some zucchinis and then these are 
banana and squash, the yellow squash. We have some of just plain strawberry. This is a strawberry banana one. Um, these are these like super food, super smoothie. So they have blueberry, strawberry, raspberry, kale, spinach, and bananas. Um, this one I use like, you know, when I don't prep all of this other stuff. Plus it's just like easy when I don't know what to make or like what I'm craving. Um, I'll just throw this in there. I'm also prepped some bananas, got some strawberries and some blueberries right here. So that's, oh, oh, and this mango, sorry, the fridge is getting mad. I also have this mango from Trader Joe's. I still haven't used it. I'm thinking like a mango strawberry kind of smoothie for that. So I haven't done that yet, but I'm really excited. And now I'm going to be making some celery juice. What I usually do is celery, ginger, and lemon. So I have to go get the lemons outside. And I thought I'd bring you guys along with me because we have a lemon tree and it's super fun to like be able to go get your own <laughs> lemon. So let's go. I had to throw on a sweater because it's freezing outside. The weather last week was hot. Like it was 90, almost 100 degrees towards the end of the week. And then this week it's been so cold so yay california show you guys my tree but my tree is right behind my house oh no are there lemons yes there are okay they're just like right in the middle there gonna have to get through there with all the cobwebs great i only got four because i have another one in there and i'm using five back in see these are this is the office right there so oh I just dropped one cool i'm gonna wash these get the ginger prepped as well does ginger go bad i think maybe one piece like this so the way that i'm gonna do it is i'm gonna blend everything up and then i'm gonna put it through a cheesecloth i hate like fibers like i know that you need fiber <laughs> for health but i am not like a like in drinks i don't like like you know what i mean <laughs> What would you call it? Fibers. Like, it's like the, the pulp kind of situation. I just, I don't like that in my drinks. I like my drinks to just be liquid. So, like, smoothies, like, are, f like, fully blended and icy. So, I feel like I can get through that. But, like, when it's, like, thick and liquidy, I don't, mm -mm, it's not for me. It's not for me. So, I'm going to go ahead and put it through a cheesecloth and then probably jar it and save it because I'm making a lot. So yeah, we're gonna have some fun gel celery juice. I haven't had celery juice in a while, so I'm really excited about this. Back up, let's take it tough. Calluses on my hands so rough. Yeah, I call your bluff. I'm not the one. Mess with me, come out with none. Cause I'm so done, you had your fun. And now you're gonna face down the barrel of the gun. Cause I got a full clip with your name on it. But I'm gonna let you slide cause you ain't worth it. Time staying strong. Need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. Time staying strong. Need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. camera but it's very very green i'm gonna put it in the fridge and we're gonna take a cup i don't know once a day i don't know whenever we feel like having some celery juice i'm so happy we got all the fibers out <laughs> and other than like a little cramp in my hand it was a lot easier than i thought it would be these cheesecloths are amazing i use them for mil milk too because again i don't like that texture i don't like that texture in um like drinks like milk i don't want it to be you know but i love making cashew milk so i use it for that a lot too so maybe i'll share that well we still have oat milk see i bought oat milk and then i looked at all the ingredients after i bought it and i was like oh no it has so much like oil and stuff and it's so bad for you <laughs> i mean it's not bad for you but you really have to like i've been trying to pay more attention to like where i'm getting like extra carbs and extra fats that i didn't 
previously like even know I was ingesting. So gotta be careful with those, especially when you have goals like I want to lose weight. I want to be stronger and definitely like feed myself better. So I'm not depriving myself of the like, like I had hot Cheetos yesterday. <laughs> I have me a good balanced meal, but like if I want the hot Cheetos, that means that I'm not going to eat carbs and fats in my milk. Like that's just not acceptable. <laughs> I mean, fats, if it's from a nut, obviously there's going to be fat, but like, I mean, like just oil, like I just don't understand why people put oil. In. Why isn't it just oats and water? Like that's what it should be. <laughs> but anyways, that's what I've been up to and I will catch up with you guys a little bit later, maybe when we're making dinner or something, because I... I feel like we're gonna be making a good dinner and Christian should be home soon so I'm really excited. We made some chicken tenders for dinner and rice. Just made myself half another little bowl and it's pretty good. Good morning, happy Wednesday. <laughs> it's Wednesday. Um, I had my mobility and stability workout so um, still worked up a sweat but it was mostly just like stretching and like recovery for your joints and muscles while you lift heavy. The rest of the week so that was really nice and then i ended with a meditation and i feel so zen now <laughs> i'm ready to take on the day i have a little bit of tidying up from last night to do and then later i really want to go to trader joe's because we need we need a couple things and it's not worth going like a whole costco trip we get most of our groceries at costco because we feel like freeze a lot but it's it's not enough we don't need enough to go to costco yet so we're probably just gonna hit trader joe's up Plus they have like the best snacks. So I'll probably share a couple of things that we get from there and uh, Yeah, welcome to Wednesday. Oh, I'm also gonna make a smoothie So I'll show you guys what I put in my smoothie because they're really good. <laughs> Hello So we got back from Trader Joe's and H Mart, uh, which is like an Asian Korean It's a Korean market here and we got some stuff, but I put it all away before I could share like a haul <laughs> but we did get two fun things at Trader Joe's that I wanted to share. We got this Mayer lemon cake mix with icing, lemon icing. There we go. Looks fun. I really am excited to try this and make that. And then for this Sunday is Easter and we're going over to Christian's parents' house. They actually eat baked goods. <laughs> so I thought these were super cute to make and bring to them yeah they even come with like the little green icing and like the little eggs too so it's super cute i'm really excited to make it because i haven't really been festive other than that little egg that i have or egg oh, oh my god that little bunny that i have over there <laughs> that's as festive as i got for easter so we're gonna get a little more festive <laughs> and later i'm making a uh, tofu kimchi soup from that's why we went to h mart because i'm just i've been craving this soup for so long. We get it every time we go to, it's only when we go to Quarters, right? That's the only time we've gotten it. There's this Korean barbecue place called Quarters in LA and that's the only place I've ever had it, I think. And I just, I've been craving it for so long. So I finally got the ingredients and I'm gonna make it tonight, maybe even a little later cause I could probably eat soon. <laughs> but anyways, that's what we're doing. That's what we're up to on this fine Wednesday. Oh my God, and another fun thing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I do have to share this. On Netflix, there is this show, I was watching Grey's Anatomy before, there is this show called Old Enough. It's a Japanese reality TV show where they send toddlers off to do errands. It's the cutest thing ever. It's like so silly and lighthearted and beautiful. Like it makes me want to cry how cute it is. They just follow the kid and he like has to take himself there on his own and bring himself back on his own. It's only, and they like follow, like it's safe. Like you see the people like around him, like keeping him safe, but it's just so funny because all the shots are like from super far away. <laughs> and the kid just being like alone running his errand. Like it's so cute. He's a little grown up. Uh, anyways, I thought it was adorable and I thought I'd share, so. That's what we're doing. Catch up with you guys. Just out there. Okay, I have to get one cup of this. Hello. I'm cooking Korean food right now. <laughs> Bananas. It says it needs to be chopped. Is this already chopped? No. You have to chop it? Yeah. Oh shit, my oil. Oh no. You can put it in and then use scissors to cut it in the bowl. You're a genius. This is a mess. <laughs> Kimchi and garlic. 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 Um, I guess this. You don't want to cut it. 
Oh, yeah. It's okay. Have it already. <laughs> I already took a bite. I'm so, I messed up, but here it is. Here it is, kimchi tofu soup. It tastes so good. I'm very impressed with myself that I was like able to manage this. It's so good and we have like a little side of rice. What do you think? Pretty good. Pretty good? What would you rate it? For homemade, this is a For homemade? This is a 10. Right? Mm -hmm. For homemade, I'm mm -hmm. so impressed with myself. This is so good. Yummy. <laughs> Hello, so we are getting ready to watch Moon Knight right now. That's not Moon Knight, that's Grey's Anatomy. Um, but we're getting ready to watch Moon Knight. Um, it's the new Marvel Disney Plus show. It's pretty good, we've seen the first two episodes. This is the third episode um, that aired today. And it's it's pretty good, I like it. And we're getting, we're getting some snacks ready for movie night. My hair looks so bad, okay. Um, so I'm gonna crush these cookies up. They are from Trader Joe's, the crispy, crunchy peanut butter cookies. They are so freaking good. Yesterday, I had a couple with some ice cream and I was like, you know what? This would be better if I like crushed them up. So I'm gonna crush them up right now and put them on some vanilla ice cream. And then that's gonna be my snack. I'm so excited. <laughs> Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you Hello. just gotta Hello, happy Thursday It's Thursday, right? Yeah Um, happy Thursday I'm checking in finally on the vlog Uh, it's 1.30 1 30 p.m. Um, I already had a whole morning. I think I vlogged a little bit of me like just tidying up a little bit, but I didn't check in. So that was a while ago. I had my whole little morning routine that I usually do. And then I had some stuff I had to do, but now I'm sitting down to eat my lunch, which is leftovers from yesterday. It looks so good. And we have some fish cakes and kimchi, cucumber kind of thing. So it's a busy Thursday. I will sit down and enjoy this and then check back in later this evening because I've got stuff to do today and I probably won't be on the vlog a little bit. Hello, so I just got home from a very busy day. I can't really share what it is because it's a secret, but <laughs> it was a very fun day. I had a very productive and fun day, but I come home and Christian did all the laundry. He didn't fold it, but I mean, he's cooking right now. Let's go share what he's making. Gonna share what you're making. Pork katsu, OMG, I'm so excited gonna be so good I'm so hungry so yeah what what's going on with this what are we doing with this Ooh, yummy yummy I'm so excited little housewife for the day <laughs> I shared that you did the laundry too very not that you can't do laundry <laughs> hello again so we finished dinner and I am just not wait let me pause this we're watching the Conjuring, because I think it's the scariest movie. <laughs> it's it's really scary. No matter how many times I see it, the scenes in this one specifically always give me like a chill. Like I always feel like a who, you know, kind of feeling. And I kind of like it. <laughs> it's, it's like scary, but good. Like a good, worth it kind of scary. And the storyline I feel like is very worth it. Anyways, um, the lighting here is terrible, but I am preheating the oven right now because I wanted to bake this. It's the lemon, well, I'm gonna say it wrong again. Mayor lemon cake mix with lemon icing. Natural flavor. So we're gonna make this tonight because I just felt like baking. And we're gonna watch The Conjuring. We're gonna have a groovy, chill night. So I'll let you know how it is, baking and tasting. 
Fast, I just wanna make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headache stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe. There's something that'll give you relief. There's something that'll have what you need. What you need. We're broken, it's tragic, we're not all elastic But maybe there's magic, believe you could have it And I know of sadness, the anxious in panic The infinite vastness of all that is blackness Happy Friday! I look wrecked. <laughs> um, I'm still in my pajamas. It's been a late start to the morning. However, I did want to review the lemon cake that we made yesterday, last night. It came out really good. Super soft. The icing, killing it. I will say it's not like the most lemony, but it is like it's it's enough. You know, I thoroughly enjoyed this. I do recommend. If you like baking, but don't want like all of the, <laughs> don't want to like fuss with all the ingredients that you have to put into it. It's a good substitute for, um, you know, baking from scratch. Um, I'm making some coffee. Christian's making lunch, but I'm going to have hash browns and eggs because <laughs> I, I got up pretty late. I'm not going to lie, but it is a busy, another busy day. I have a lot of choice to do today that I've been putting off, but it's time. <laughs> it's time to clean up this house. So yeah, happy Friday. Welcome. Enjoy the vlog. Hope you're enjoying the vlog. I don't know what I'm saying. It's too early. It feels early. It's not though. It's like 11. <laughs> Went to bed really late last night, so I slept in. That's what we're doing. Welcome to Friday. place where they told you what to chase told you how to run the race every move was on the page but i didn't like their way had to fight and misbehave had to find a way to change had to leave to find my way caught up in a daydream i be in my mind up there almost daily it's how i pass time no opinions safely it's how i understand what i want in this place see because everybody want to tell you bad things what could go wrong what fame brings but success is a finicky thing and if you ain't sure no it'll never be I don't wanna let myself down, myself in the mail which are some fun things this is from sephora this is a rave clothing shop on etsy this one is my dashing diva order and nomad candy which is another rave store on etsy or not rave but like rave fashion kind of store on etsy um so i thought i'd share the things that i bought okay so first up nomad candy i got these flower daisy flower like kind of neon see-through earrings i never wore jewelry or any kind of like this kind of accessory to a rave before so it's going to be an interesting experience trying these out because i also got like necklaces this is like a little gummy bear one this one is so cute it has like little mushrooms i'm i actually really like this one. and then i also got this it says bubbles it's my rave name i i was excited to put um there was like a one that you can make your custom one and I decided to get my rave name because I hardly ever use it. And I'm gonna wear it with this one for one outfit and then this for another and this for another. I will let you guys know what it's like because I think like the most complicated thing I've worn to a festival or rave is just like face gems or like glitter. <laughs> so this is gonna be interesting to try out like actually like accessorizing with something that doesn't just, I don't know, like it hangs off my body. It doesn't just go on my body. So it's gonna be interesting. I feel like these are gonna be, 
I don't know if I'm gonna last in these, but we'll see. I'm really excited to see it like come together with the outfits. The next package, Dashing Diva, I got a few different things because they had a sale. So I got two of these plain colored ones. This one is Lunar Pearl. It's a little shimmery, but I just liked that it was white and simple. I might wear this to the wedding that I'm going to in a few weeks. Then I got Moody Mauve. I'm pretty sure I've already gotten this one before and I absolutely love this color. Then, these like galaxy kind of oh here it is uh euphorian dream it's not focusing okay there we go euphorian dream euphoria dream sorry and i liked that they were like kind of galaxy i might wear these to edc this came for free they offered like a free gel pedicure so i got this one because it has green and my dress for the wedding is green so i thought that would be fun to like get my toes done by myself <laughs> and then this this is so cool turning red um nails it has the little red panda on it hold on okay i don't know if you could see it there it is okay the little red panda making different faces and then black a few like spotted ones and then these like like it kind of looks like a teenager like writing all over her notebook you know like de kind of decorating there's like four town on it and it's just it's so freaking cute i'm so i'm like obsessed with this movie so when they saw that they had these and they were part of the sale i was like heck yeah so this one's called panda power and they have different um styles too of the turning red like they have like a whole series so that's really exciting and they're really cute so that's Dashing Diva. Next, we have Electric Couture Dolls. This is the Rave brand that I found on Etsy, or on Etsy, and I just like fell in love with this pattern on this fabric. I thought it was, it just reminds me so much of like, like the 90s, like when I was younger and like Lisa Frank kind of style, or like even these like exact faces and like flowers were used like all over the place back then like these happy faces I remember you would get them in like the tattoo or like the sticker at like the little turn <laughs> machine things so that 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 was really cute and it really made me nostalgic so that's actually going to go with these earrings and then the last package I got is from Sephora I just got a few essentials from their sale and then one extra well like i've been wanting to try this forever so <laughs> i wanted to get it this is the fenty beauty ease drop blurring skin tint i don't think it has spf but it's like a tinted moisturizer and i got it in the shade 13. the first time i went to go get it it sold out like so fast so this time during the sale i was like absolutely need this first and foremost then i got two of the sephora line eyeliners i'm running low on eyeliner and i've never tried these so i thought i would try it this is just the black waterproof liner and then i also got it in white because i'm hoping to make some like fun makeup looks and i feel like white eyeliner would look really cool with like some colorful eyeshadows and stuff like that so i'm gonna try those out and then also the eyebrow pencil i got two because i always run out like super fast of these and the, again it was like during the sale so it was really cool i just got this one in chocolate brown yeah i just got two and that's it for my little haul. I'm still looking like a mess. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna work out today or if I'm just gonna push my like, hey, I'm back there. Or if I'm just gonna push my like uh, program back a day, which is totally fine. I, I do that sometimes as long as I complete my days. There's like a fly, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep cleaning, see what else needs to get done. I definitely need to clean the bathroom, which I've been like dreading, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it. And then I'll catch up with you guys later. Oh my god, it's at 9%. Okay, hello. So it has been hours. Uh, we had dinner. We, that's it, I'm pretty sure, because I have been <laughs> sitting here watching this stupid show all night. I'm already on episode eight. There's only like one and a half more episodes. It's addictive. I, I mean, I love these types of like reality shows. Ugh, they're so ridiculous and beautiful. And just like, not necessarily lighthearted, but just like so stupid and like great in how stupid they are. So that's what I've been doing. Super fun. And that's probably what I'll keep doing until I finish the whole season. So I will check back in tomorrow when I hopefully have something more interesting to do. Because this took over my entire life today. It's great. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Happy Saturday. I am... 
finally getting ready to do my workout. What a nice angle. I'm getting my pre-workout together and I just vacuumed and got myself together for this lovely Saturday morning. It is sunny and bright outside, which I wasn't prepared for. I thought it was going to be a gloomy day today. So it was going to rain. It might still rain, like the clouds are kind of going in and out, but there's definitely a lot of sun. It's pretty bright. I forgot what I was doing. I'm just going to mix this. I love that sound. So I'm going to drink this and meditate really quick and then get started with my workout. Hello. I have been running around all day deep cleaning the house because I usually deep clean the house on sun. Damn, my bicep is huge. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just like, I didn't feel my muscle till just now. And I'm like, whoa, okay. It's growing. Hello, workouts working. Anyways, I've been like running around deep cleaning the house because usually I clean it on Sundays, but tomorrow is Easter and we are spending it with Christian's family. I'm going to be going to church and then eating at their house. So I'm not going to have time to do like deep cleaning here tomorrow. So I did that today. I finally got finished. It was, I actually haven't done the kitchen. I'm a liar. I'm a fucking liar. I haven't finished the kitchen because I'm like, we're still going to be using it today and it doesn't take too much. It's just kind of like wiping everything down, disinfecting and stuff like that. But it's not, it's not as heavy as like the rest of the house, which is like dusting, mopping, laundry, so many things. So I'm finally sitting down to have some lunch. I had a mango smoothie earlier and it was delicious. I really need to remember to vlog that next time because... I would love to share it. It's just like mango, banana, spinach, and it's like amazing vanilla protein powder. So good. Oh, and I also tried out, so I need to get my eyebrows threaded. <laughs> so ignore how messy they look. But I tried out the eyebrow, not the eyeliner. This eyeliner is still my old one. But the eyebrow pencil from Sephora, I it feels like it's a little light for me. Like I think my color is a little bit darker normally it's a little too brown but i think it still looks good like once i brush it out a little i think it blends well with my regular brow so i mean this one's darker than this one. i'm just now noticing that <laughs> sorry but i think it looks good i think it's gonna work for you know just like everyday use um because i again i run out of that eyebrow pencil like all the time like super fast so i'm glad that i bought two this time so that i can actually wear it daily and not feel like a naked mole rat anyways i'm gonna continue to enjoy my lunch and then uh, we'll see what else we get up to on this Saturday. It's Saturday, so we're going to party or something. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> Partying for us now is like staying home and like binge watching a show or something like that. We're not old, but we feel old. <laughs> okay, so I've been watching Grey's Anatomy for a little while, but I just put on a diffuser blend that I found and I thought it was really cool. It actually, it actually works. It's citrus fresh. Oh, let me put them over here. So they're displayed. We did Citrus Fresh and Pan Away, and it smells like root beer float. It does smell like a root beer float. It's so cool. I found it on Pinterest on like a, it said like magical diffuser blends or something like that. <laughs> I'm actually gonna save this one. I don't usually save diffuser blends that I find on Pinterest because, oh yeah, see, magical diffuser recipes. There's also Happy Unicorn, Sweet Sunshine, Candy Hearts. I thought that these are so cute. I've never seen these. So I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save this list and maybe use it some other days because that's super fun. I feel like all the ones that I usually find are like stress relief or like energy or I don't know. <laughs> Weather kind of blends like cloudy day <laughs> or spring or you know, things like that. I never, I've never seen a, a list of gumdrop. That's so cute. Dream catcher, bubble gum. I'm excited to try these, and I do have most of these scents, so that's exciting. Yeah, anyways, I think I'm gonna bake soon, so I will show you guys. I don't have cupcake liners, so these are gonna have to be liner-less, but they're the, the Trader Joe's cupcakes that I showed the other day. Spring cupcake mix. I don't know how I'm gonna make the grass look like grass either, but we're gonna get creative. We're gonna see how we can make it work. So yeah, we're still we're still trugging along. Happy Saturday, still happening. Are you having a great Saturday? Christian came back from his tournament. Yeah. Good, fun, yay. It was a good day. It's it's still a good day. It's only, what time is it, 5.44? Yeah. It's so early, maybe we'll go for a walk later. Yeah? I don't know if I can go right, right now. We still have like an hour. What time are you gonna stream? Right now? Okay, give me a second. 
<laughs> I'm going to go on a walk right now. Hello. So we just went for our walk and I didn't vlog a thing, <laughs> but we did stop by our local little like bodega corner store. Found this. It's the Starlight Coca-Cola limited edition, uh, zero sugar. sugar creations. I don't know. I didn't know what it tasted like. I just heard about it. So we decided to give them a try and it tastes like cotton candy. I, well, I think it tastes like cotton candy. Christian says it tastes like something else. Like he's not sure what, but like a cookie or something. I straight up taste cotton candy. At first I thought it was like a little cherry Coke-ish and I was like, this is kind of a like dip because <laughs> it just tastes like cherry Coke, but it wasn't. The aftertaste is definitely cotton candy. And then another thing that I got while we were there, a little snacky poo. It's the churro mas con limon, con limoncito. <laughs> my, I'm, I grew up eating these. Um, my mom loves like churritos, kind of like the chili snacks like this. She loves these, so she would get them all the time. And then now that I don't live with her, I'm like, where am I gonna get my fix? <laughs> So I have to get my own, <laughs> but it sounded really good. So I'm really excited to eat those and bake still. I still haven't even started baking. So we're going to do that uh, soon, probably maybe in an hour or so. <laughs> I want to like sit down for a minute and uh, just chill, maybe do some work on my computer. But yeah, not doing anything crazy. I will share once I start baking, or at least the decorating part, because that is going to be interesting. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to pull that grass off, but we will see. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Devastating news. I'm gonna update the vlog about the cupcakes. This tragedy has struck. So we didn't have cupcake liners. We went to the corner store. They didn't have cupcake liners. That was originally why we went to the store. They didn't have cupcake liners either. So I was like, you know what? I've done cupcakes before where I just like grease the pan and then I make them like muffins kind of thing. Not these. Uh, <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's literally falling, falling apart. So that's the the cupcake situation. They're super stuck to the pan. And then the frosting situation isn't so bad, except it's a little bit clumpy still. And I've been mixing it for like a very long time and the clumps just like will not get out. So, I mean, I guess it's fine because probably not even gonna use it because the cupcakes are just yeah so um we'll see what we do with that probably i don't know i don't even know like like i even feel bad like trying to give them to my parents but like what am i just gonna throw it all out but like if i can't eat all of it like that's way too much oh god yeah this was a mistake i didn't think it would be this big of a deal not having cupcake liners but i've, I've literally made cupcakes before without them so I think it's the mix's fault. <laughs> I'm just gonna blame it on the mix because I don't, I don't know. I don't know what happened. And so yeah, that's it for this Saturday night. <laughs> I'll probably just try to clean this up, figure something out, and then check back in with you guys in the morning. Hello, happy Sunday, happy Easter. It is Easter Sunday today. We woke up bright and early and went to church with Christian's family. Uh, and then had brunch with them, which was really good. I think I vlogged like a little clip so I can show you guys what we ate. We also got, his mom makes this bomb Japanese cheesecake. And she gave us one <laughs> to bring home. So that's exciting, especially after the cupcake fail from last night. So yeah, now we're gonna, it's about, what time is it? It's like three? It's like three. Yeah, okay, so now it's about 3 p.m. Hello, Christian. Happy Hello. Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs> the way you, you sound like the robots from Star Wars. Right, Roger. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, we are just going to um, tidy up a little bit and then relax and get ready for the week next week so um I, I honestly don't know how much exciting things we're gonna be doing today but <laughs> if we do i'll let you guys i'll keep you guys posted what are you doing it's a sunday <laughs> sunday fun day sunday fun day i'm having fun 
with my starlight soda. <laughs> it's purple. -ish. I know, it's kind of it's like it looks like wine. Hello, okay, so we just got back from a walk actually. It's so dark in here because we are going to watch a scary movie. <laughs> And I'm a little nervous. It, the preview looked really scary. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how it'll end. I don't know. It didn't look like the story itself was that good. Well, not not good. Good enough. I don't know. There was a part that freaked me out. And I was like, okay, I guess I'm in. <laughs> it, looked, it looked good enough. Yeah. So it's a Netflix film. Cool. It's called No One Gets Out Alive. In case you're interested in spooky movies. This is one that we're watching. I'll let you guys know what I think afterwards. Uh, wish me luck. <laughs> Hello, I hope. We just finished watching that scary movie. What was it called again? No one gets out alive or... Yeah, I think something like that. Like no one gets out alive. It was interesting. It, it wasn't... It was a little scary. A little bit. Um, more confusing though, like... The scary parts you I don't know it wasn't like I don't know it wasn't like super super scary it was more like um interesting story and the scares weren't bad so yeah and a very interesting ending kind of predictable but still like I don't know exactly what happened there <laughs> the creature at the end was a little crazy looking and it felt a little like a culty kind of movie but it wasn't yeah I don't know it's interesting not like the best but not bad, not bad, definitely not bad, not a bad watch, worth the watch. But yeah, now we are just winding down, getting ready for the week. Christian has to prep his lunch and I am getting ready to do um, some big things in my business this week. I am making some huge moves, so I am getting prepared for that. With that being said, I'm going to go start getting ready for bed. Thank you so much for watching this weekly vlog. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it and if you want to see more just please make sure to like and subscribe for more videos i do disney festival and lifestyle content on here so if you like any of those things just keep watching i will be attending edc las vegas this year so that's gonna be in about a month oh my god it's a month away it's a month away i'm so excited okay so just keep watching if you're interested in any type of festival stuff. Um, I will be making a lot of like prep videos and then of course vlogging the entire thing. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.